I do not remember her name. I'm sure you can correct me, Jeff. Kristen Welch, yeah. Mm-hmm. Kristen Welch said this one line. What? Feel free to pull it up. I'm stalling here. In the yeah. olden days, this is called stand-up comedy stalling. But <laughs> um, here's what she said that will change all of us just listening now, and then we're going to all download the podcast. She said, "I, you know, she was a believer. She was trying to live a virtuous life, but she always was comparing herself to the next-door neighbor who had a better car, and the kids seemed to be doing better at sports and better at school. And she fought that, you know, we all fight that temptation, but then she started doing missionary work and she said, you know, I never thought about it. We always compare ourselves to those who have more. Why is it not natural for us to say, let's do, if God, if it's somehow embedded in our hearts that we have to compare ourselves, why aren't we often choosing to compare to someone who has so much less and learning from that difference instead of always feeling greedy or whatever you call it, uh, gluttonous and wanting more. What a powerful, I have to admit, she's right. We always compare up. We seem to never compare down, right, John? It seems to, you know, for me, it, it reminds me of uh, the Benjamin Hardy book, uh, Living in the Gap or the Gain, uh, which is a fantastic book to read uh, if, if you're listening and you haven't. Uh, it's, a, it's a great book. Um, also, Jeff, when you were talking about uh, your charity, um, Hope International, and how it helps others really become empowered and, and build self-esteem 